Did you know that in America and English and other erotic accents, many of those R sounds and words are not really pronounced separately, but are actually included in what are called erotic vowels? Find out what erotic vowels are and how to sound them as naturally as a native English erotic speaker. We'll then compare standard American English, which is erotic speech, with standard British English, which is non erotic speech. On this channel, you learn simple and effective ways to improve your spoken English so you sound more like a native speaker. So you're welcome to enhance your English this way. Subscribe and come along. It will all be worth your while. A rhotic R is an R sound that does not come before a vowel sound. It either comes before a consonant sound, like in the word B-E-R-N, and in the word P-E-R-T-A-I-N, or before a silent E, like in the word A-R-E, or at the end of a word that is a terminal R, like in the word F-O-R. Those who include the rhotic R in words are rhotic speakers and have rhotic speech. Speakers of American English are mostly rhotic. Speakers of Canadian English and many British accents, apart from the RP accent, are also rhotic. The rhotic R is not rarely pronounced separately. It is included in the pronunciation of the vowel sound just before it. This is called roticization, or simply R inclusion, and the affected vowel sound becomes a roticized vowel, also called a rhotic vowel. To roticize the vowel sound, you do either of two things. You either gather up the back of the tongue while making the vowel sound, or you turn up the front of the tongue while making the vowel sound. Whichever one you find easier to do. Remember, you don't make the vowel sound first, and then include an R sound. This would not sound natural. You either gather up the back of the tongue while making the vowel sound, or you turn up the front of the tongue while making the vowel sound. This is what includes the R sound naturally in the rhotic vowel. Now, let's create those rhotic vowels and pronounce those words in our rhotic R definition, like a native rhotic speaker. In the words B-E-R-N and A-R-E, we'll roticize the R sound because it comes just before the rhotic R in both words. So you either gather up the back of the tongue or you turn up the front of the tongue while making the R sound. And our plain R becomes R. Again, R. So B-E-R-N is pronounced barn. Barn. And the A-R-E is pronounced R. R. In the word F-O-R, the R sound comes just before the rhotic R. So you gather up the back of the tongue or you turn up the front of the tongue and say R. And our plain R becomes R. R. So F-O-R is pronounced for, for. Now let's compare the following words in Standard British and American English. B-E-R-N in British English would be barn. In American English, it would be barn. A-R-E in British English would be R. But in American English, it would be R. F-O-R in British English would be four, but in American English, it would be four. In the word P-E-R-T-A-I-N, the schwa sound comes just before the word R. If you have watched the pronunciation 2 video, you would have learned how to make the schwa sound easily and correctly. I have included a link to this video in the description box below for you to watch it if you haven't already or you want to watch again. Back to the rhotic schwa. You gather up the back of the tongue or you turn up the front of the tongue while you make the plain schwa uh, and it becomes 
of or so P E R T A I N is pronounced pertain. Pertain. You'll notice that the rhotic schwa comes out like an R sound itself. However, be careful here as many non-native English speakers tend to have a less relaxed way of pronouncing the R. This is what I mean. A native speaker would say R, while a non many non-native speakers would say R, R. So here's my advice. Don't think of the rhotic schwa as just an R sound. Always gather up the back of the tongue or turn up the front of the tongue while making the plain schwa sound. So this will guide you to a narrower R. In British English, all rhotic vowels are transcribed with an R just after. In American English, a distinction is made between rhotic vowels with partial R inclusion and rhotic vowels with complete R inclusion, where the rhotic R is all included at the end of the pronunciation of a rhotic vowel. And you can distinctly hear the vowel sound just before the rhotic R. This is partial R inclusion. An example is when the O sound is roticized and it becomes O. You can hear the O sound just before the rhotic R. Rhotic vowels with partial R inclusion are transcribed with an R just after, like in British English. Where the rhotic R is included throughout the pronunciation of the rhotic vowel, and you cannot hear the rhotic vowel distinctly from the rhotic R, this is complete R inclusion. An example is when the schwa is roticized and it becomes R, that is, the plain a uh becomes an R. Uh. You cannot hear the a uh sound distinctly from the rhotic R anymore. A rhotic vowel with complete R inclusion is transcribed with a hook in American English. As we know from rhotic 1 video, in non-rhotic speech, the rhotic R has no effect on the schwa which comes just before it in words. In contrast, in rhotic speech, the rhotic R is included in the schwa sound which comes just before it, as for all other vowel sounds. So we have the rhotic schwa in rhotic speech. Now let's compare a few words where the schwa sound comes just before the rhotic R in standard British English and in standard American English. P-E-R-T-E-I-N in standard British English would be pronounced pertain, and in standard American it would be pronounced pertain. D-I-N, N-E-R in standard British would be pronounced dinner, and in standard American it would be pronounced dinner. P I C T U R E in standard British English would be pronounced picture. In standard American English, it would be pronounced picture. Remember that although there are rhotic British accents, the standard British English is our model RP accent, which is non rhotic. And in the same vein, although there are non-rhotic American accents, the standard American English is the general American accent, which is rhotic. Thank you for watching my video to the end. I hope you learned something new today. I want to thank my new subscribers and invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.